Hello everyone and welcome to the show. My name is Patrice Roach with Chatting with Patrice. Today's guest is Jennifer McLean, one of my favorite people that I've been knowing for over 25 years. Yes, 25 years. She's a playwright, mm -hmm. director, mm -hmm. and producer. Mm -hmm. She's a hard working sister, y'all. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That is true. <laughs> How did you become a writer? Um, I, I've been writing ever since I was a kid, um, since 10. It's just something that it was always like therapy for me. Whenever I went through things in life, I would get a notebook and just write. And from that, um, writing just became poetry came and little small stories. And when I got older, I decided, hey, you know, let me write little small plays. And I wrote my first play actually when I was in the fifth grade. And I got an award for the Young Writers Awards in um, Detroit Free Press and Michigan Chronicle. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't do it for a while. I got married, had kids. Then it came back to it, and I've been writing ever since. How many children do you have? Three. Three children. Two boys and a girl. All grown up. All grown up, okay. yeah. Now, how do they feel about your success? How do they feel about your writing? They still, you know, people are walking to me like, oh, that's Jay McClain. They're like, that's mom. <laughs> that's my mom. That's they my see mom. You, they just see you that's as mom. mom. That's my mom <laughs> until I get to Hollywood. And they be like, that's mom. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is that always how yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. That's always how it is. Um, as a successful writer, what are some of the challenges for you? Um, being in this industry and being a female, that's okay. one of the main challenges. Um, you, you know, a lot of people look at, they try to, you know, kind of capitalize on your, you know, the fact that you're female and mm -hmm. on your gender and take it like as if you, you know, they want to break you down or tell you what you don't know or, you know, you don't think you know what you're doing. So they mm -hmm. undermine everything you say oftentimes. And then you have other people that are in little cliques, you know, in the entertainment mm -hmm. industry. So they want to pull you in because they think, oh, she's a woman. She wants to be. No, I I'm just one of those independent you know, women who just like to stand on my own. So a lot of people, they feel like I'm a little, you know, they, you know, like I'm too bossy or too, you know, she, who does she think she is type of attitude, but that's not who I am. I just like doing things in a certain way, you know. And so, so those been my challenges, people taking me serious, taking my craft serious. Great. Mm -hmm. Now what's the, f what's the first hook that gets you a new place started for you? What's the first hook that gets a new place started for you well you know it could be anything um it could be what's going on in the world you know it could be something that's prevalent in the environment and in the community you know you know something that i see on tv or something that come across the news quite often or mm -hmm. something that's dear to my heart something going on in my family and i think about it and come up with a concept and then it'll you know something will be born out of that so it can be a, it can be a number of things that I can come from Great, mm -hmm. great. How many plays have you written? Um, this is my 10th stage play. I've written over like 15 plays, but this is the 10th one that I'm putting on. Actually, 10th play. Yeah. Wow. Your very first play, I must say, Sisters. Yes. It was the book. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> always love that play. I do not. And it was, <laughs> you have to do sisters again everybody okay. keeps saying that to me so much love you put so much love into that play i did i, did. I was like oh my god yeah i wanted to cry it was just so beautiful everything was so beautiful Thank it really you. really was i've been to several of your plays but my favorite one was sisters wow okay it really, really was. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. I enjoyed. I enjoyed sisters. Yeah, and everybody is so funny because people today always ask me like, "Have you ever thought about bringing it back?" And I'm like, "Okay." And, and they did ask me. I mean, just recently, maybe two weeks ago, somebody said you should bring that back on a bigger stage, like the music hall or something. Yes, you have to bring that one <laughs> yeah, back. Bring they sisters me. back. They are asking me. I will. I yes, will bring that I'm, one back. I'm considering please. it. I am. I am. Definitely. It was beautiful. Okay. What do you do when you get writer's block? You know, um, I can say uh, thankful for grace and, grace and mercy that I haven't had to, haven't had it thus far. Hmm. I mean, I've been I've been able to just put thoughts together and put it on paper and go from there. Now, I, I sometimes struggle with creating certain characters, maybe giving them a name or giving okay. their you know what you know what the play is about, giving them uh, people understanding of what. I want to th want 
want that role to convey to the people. You know what I'm saying? I may mm -hmm. have those issues, but basically I haven't had it thus far. I haven't had writer's block yet. Yep. So do ideals just <clears throat> come to you? I mean, as far as like, what do you do when you're out? Um, and you have ideals that come to mind. Well, you know, sometimes if it's something really something really good, you know, when at home, I sleep with a notepad. Great. Literally. I have Great. a notepad right Great. by my bed. So okay. I Great. I wake up or have a dream and I'm like, oh, you know, let me write that. Oh, that's good. Uh, or I might see something hey. on TV and like, oh, let me write that down. So usually I have some type of notepad or pen near me so I can write it down. Because I'm still a kid who I call myself a writer's kid because I still write everything in my notebook first. Where other writers, they go straight to their computer and type it in. I'm still mm -hmm. a notebook kid, so I have to transfer everything from the notebook to the computer, you know, or to, to turn it into a script. And a lot of people are like, why do you do that? It just takes so much time. But it's just, it's just a habit. I just like doing it. Okay. How important is it to go to um, different plays, parties, events, if you are a playwright? How important is that to go to you know, to other plays that other people have written. Well, is that important I, for you? Yeah, it's important because, you know, you know, our city, Detroit in itself, the city of Detroit, I would say, um, is a city where a lot of people bring different types of events here. Mm -hmm. And it's basically because people know people in Michigan spend money. They go buy, sh they go to shows. They, they, you know, they say, you know, whatever you bring to Michigan, you, you're usually going to sell out unless it's really crappy or terrible or something. Mm -hmm. And, the, the, but the flip side of that is that we don't support local people in the same way. And it's sad because it seems like we should give that much support to the local artists and the local writer, the local singer, the local playwright, the local TV stations, the mm -hmm. local whatever. Mm -hmm. But we don't often do that. So as a ho as for me, I try to go out and support everybody's endeavors so that we try to keep it flowing between all of us. Like, okay, well, I'm gonna support you, you support me. I got you, you got me. And so that's how we, mm -hmm. that's why it's important for me. Sometimes I'm tired because I've been went to two, three, four events in one day. But that's just the way I want to put out there what I want back. So that's what I do. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. that is so true. What you put out is what you get back. Yes. That is so true. Yeah. Well, you have, a sh your shows are always sold out. <laughs> well, well, yeah. If not all, if not sold out, almost. So that's true. Almost sold out. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I, and that I, is so good. That is that's that's so good. And then you're so known, so well loved in the community. Yeah. You've always been a great person. Thank I've known you. you since the sixth grade. Thank you. You haven't changed a bit. I mean, even down to still getting your hair done <laughs> real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, keep her head laid. Yeah, girl, you know, I can't go out there and look at all crunchy and stuff. <laughs> oh, Gotta my God. Good. Gotta look yes, good. Yes, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Surely describe what a day in your working life is like. Mm. Well... When I'm in, um, when I'm getting ready to put a production together, it can mm -hmm. be anything from running around selling tickets to doing interviews, as I'm doing right now with you, to you know, getting production um, props and things that I need to. I'm, mm -hmm. I also do home care. I'm a home care um, uh, um, home care giver as well. So now, how long have you been doing that? You 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 have that's that, that's your own company, right? Yeah, I've been doing. Okay. Um, I've been doing um, patient care uh, for over almost twenty years. What's the name of it? Lean on me home care. Lean on me home care. Yep, I've been doing that, and but it's it's been so hard because I'm so into my plays now that I don't do it as often as I used to do it. Like mm -hmm. it was a consistent thing that I did like almost every day, but now I do a little of that, I do a little of this, but I'm this mm -hmm. is like my my baby right here. Oh, okay. my plays Just for your plays. Mm -hmm. Okay, your heart, your heart is more set. With your plays now, yes, definitely, definitely. Okay, great, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, how do you choose your cast? Um, it can, you know, we do auditions. Okay. Um, I call auditions, um, casting calls. Um, I do social media. You know, put it out there. I need a woman do this, that mm -hmm. can do this. A man doing that. And but oftentimes, I really haven't had to have too many because I get more emails and in inboxes and people who reach out to me to want to mm -hmm. work with me that I don't even have to do that. So it's been, it's been, it's been, a, it's been kind of, it's been, you know, kind of easy to just kind of get my cast together because people, talented people have always reached out to me. Yeah. 
That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an old saying that says that what we are, mm -hmm. we attract. That's true. That's true. So you're very talented and you attract talented people. That's definitely And that's true. so awesome. That's yes. so awesome. That's yeah. really awesome. Are you currently dating? Definitely not. No, I'm saying. <laughs> No, I'm not. I no. Nah, that's just something that I done put on the back burner for right now. You put it on the back burner. Yeah, I put it back there on the back Why? burner. It ain't even on right now. The stove off. No, I noticed kidding. that you mentioned that you've been married before. Yeah, I was. Now, married. how was that? It was good. I was married for 15 years, you know, and you know it worked so out. So was I. Yes, <laughs> it worked out and it don't. So hey, you know, and I've dated and been in relationships since mm -hmm. then, but. Right now, it's I, I you know for what I'm doing and where I'm at, I need somebody who's positive, but at the same time that would encourage, that would support and be there for me in that matter. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, absolutely. And if I, and if he can't, it, he would really be in my way, because I'm on a mission to, to you know to uh, accomplish the goals that I want to accomplish in this field that I'm in. Okay. So. So is it safe to say that you want someone as a mate, as a soulmate, to share the same visions as you do? No, I wouldn't say, you know, share the same vision, but be able to support what my vision is. Okay. His vision may, to do, may be to work at a plant for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. My vision may be to do stage plays, but whatever it is, we support one another. Exactly. 100%. And if we can do that, I think we can be okay. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Now, do you do you believe that a healthy relationship, mm -hmm. whether it be in a marriage or friendship, do you believe that that foundation of that relationship, God needs to be in there? Do you believe that? Definitely. I believe okay. he needs to be a part of everything you do. Absolutely. Everything you do. If he's not a part of it, is usually not going to be as success as successful to as far as I'm concerned, in my yes. opinion, as it should be. Okay. Yep. Definitely. That's a great answer. That's the answer I was looking for. Good. I gave it to you. <laughs> yes. Did you just have that waiting? No. I, I mean, that's just that's just life. Anyway, I've just learned that you have to make sure that he's a part of everything you do. Because yes. whenever he's not in it for me mm -hmm. and for what my beliefs are, it just don't always work out as smoothly as it could. As it should. Yep. Yes. There's a struggle. Yes. I think there's a struggle. And anything that we do, what I've came to find out, if there is a struggle there, prime example, I wanted to write a play once. And I kind of thought, oh, wow, this is going to be so great. But I felt a struggle there. Okay. And when I felt that struggle there, I said, no, you know, this is not for me. And immediately, immediately, I gave it up and I passed it on to someone that I thought that would do a great job at it. Uh -huh. And I went on to something different. Okay. And in the meantime, that person did do an awesome job okay, great. with it. They did an awesome job and I'm so proud of her today. Okay. So if it's a struggle there, that's the first sign of that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Let that go and keep moving yeah. till you get to what you are supposed to be doing because what you're supposed to be doing, it feels just right. You do it at an ease. It's, 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 it's no problem. Yeah. You just do it, yeah. you know, and you do it at an ease. And that's a, that's a big clue of am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing and is this my calling was this my purpose? That's true. That's absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the foundation of a good, strong marriage? Mm. Well, we just said it. God, definitely. And, I mean, communication. You know, communication. Mm -hmm. You definitely need to love each other. That's most definitely. Um, respect. Respect. Honoring mm -hmm. the vows in which you have already stood in front of all these people and paid all that money for it so they can <laughs> see you. You know, um, you know things of that nature. And, and most importantly, you know, just the fact that you, you know, support one another. That is, you truly love this person and you have made a, a, a decision to spend the rest of your life with this individual. So those are, to me, the foundations of a good marriage. So you are looking to marry someday. Again, yeah. I, again, I, I, yes, I'm again, hoping, you already I'm expecting for it to come again, but I'm not looking for it. If he come and find me, then I'm ready to be found. But in the meantime, That's I'm going to keep on moving and do what I'm doing right now. 
That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. What would be some of your qualifications? Name three of your qualifications that you would be looking for. He needs to be financially you know, stable. He doesn't have to be stable. a rich man or anything, but at least have a good job. Okay. Um, I want a man that has a heart to love God. Amen. Definitely. That. First. First. He, that need to be first. <laughs> financially first. stable need to be second. And, you know, somebody, you know, somebody that I can get along with and, you know, somebody that has great personality, great qualities about themselves. Mm -hmm. you know, those would be my top three. Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. He's out there. Yeah, I believe so. He's out there. You guys that. are looking. He's looking for you. You're looking for him. You guys are gonna run. They're smacking to each other when the time is right. Yep, I I, I believe that too. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna keep moving. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And I wish you luck. I wish you luck. Make sure you, you send me an invitation to the oh, wedding. Oh, you know you gonna be there, girl. <laughs> Should I'm like I was on chat with Patrice when she told me. That this was the he, he, <laughs> here he is everybody in Sherry John. No, she's gonna be all the way around the news. Gonna be worldwide yes. then. I, <laughs> yes, I'll be there no matter where it's at. Definitely, I'll definitely. let me know and I'll be there. Definitely, I I'll be there. Mm -hmm. You have a new play coming out for Mother's Day. Tell us about that. My new stage play is called Mama. I am who God says I am. Mm -hmm. And it um it's a p inspirational stage play that deals with the um mother and daughter relationships okay um lately i mean you know recently i've just noticed that today mothers and daughters are they, they don't get along like they used to mm -hmm. and a lot of it's a lot of a you know it's a um, quite a bit strain you know they a lot of their relationship, relationships are strained and okay. i wanted to find out like why why don't you know what's the problem why mothers and daughters they don't have a closeness like they used to so this play deals directly with the, the the problems and the reasons of why the the root of why these I issues are so prevalent in mother and daughter relationships today. Okay. Yeah. So this is what this stage play is about, and the resolve, and the in the, in the resolution of how to make it better. So hopefully a mother and daughter will come to the stage play that may have some of these issues and some of the characters that's in this play, mm -hmm. and that will help them rebuild their relationship so that they will have a better relationship. So that was the purpose of writing the stage play, particular. And as the young lady, uh, Rachel Ray, she also um, gave me a par partial, uh, uh, partial part of her story. So I included that in, as well in what I've already had, what I had already written, pre a pre-written script already. So we just put it all together, and that's the basis of it. Basically, basically saying, in spite of what me and my mom go through, I'm still mm -hmm. who God says that I am. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the play will be, the stage play will be where? The stage play will be, at, um, it will be at the Charles Wright Museum, Sunday, Mother's Day, May 8th. We have two shows, a 2 p.m. show. Uh, we also have a 7 p.m. show. The tickets are $30. Okay. Um, you can get tickets at God's World on Schaefer and um, Seven Mile in Detroit. You can mm -hmm. buy tickets from neptickets.com on, online. You can also get tickets from um, uh, Lee Simone Boutique, or you can call 313 Four three four nine seven seven six to get tickets as well delivered to you. Yeah. De oh, you deliver tickets? Yes, I actually been doing it for the last two days. Because funny, but the funny thing is, a lot of people and my cast, all the cast members, they also have tickets as well. And okay. the funny thing is, a lot of people, I just want to meet you, and I'm like, okay, so <laughs> I they don't want me to deliver a ticket. That's and super. Take yeah, it, it's it's fun. It's, you know, just coming into where I'm at with this now is it, it just is. It seems surreal, you know, but I still like, okay. And they're like, hi, Jay. Mm -hmm. I went to your play. I like mm -hmm. it. Can I take a picture with you? And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay. <laughs> you know? Sure. So it's yes. cool. It's cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you do for fun? <sighs> I haven't had fun. And so what is that word? What does that mean? You know, just oh, kidding. No. <laughs> I mean, right now, my fun is Netflix, uh, <laughs> my king's ass bed, and the mm -hmm. remote. And some snacks. Wow, what TV. is that? <laughs> that's been my fun for, for about over a year now. Yeah. Relaxing. That's basically my fun. If I run so much, I just mm -hmm. enjoy the fact that I can go to sleep. That you can get rest. Yeah, I can get some rest. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, has your journey been bitter or sweet? Or mixed? Mixed. Um, mixed. It's been, you know, I can say that it's been a, it's been a more of a, uh, uh, I would say, mix. 
Mixed, yes. And I say mixed because just like you were saying, the thing about a relationship and stuff like that, it's more or less that you have all these um, victories. Mm -hmm. People love the show, the play is awesome, everything is good, but it's two things that are missing because I'm local, a local mm -hmm. playwright, the finances okay. hasn't came in yet. You get the fame, but the money hasn't came in yet. So sometimes it's a struggle to put these shows together and you only make a little money when the show is over with. Okay. You haven't paid everybody. The other thing is not being able to come home and celebrate those victories with somebody. Okay. You know such, I mean? as a, such as a, a, a husband, companion, a uh -huh. companion, yep. a husband. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. So other than that, other than that, it's rewarding. It is because I haven't had a show. Every show I've done, I've had somebody who's came up to me and said something in that play changed their life or helped them to be a better person or made them re rethink what they thought about themselves or something to that, you know. So it's still a blessing in it either way. That's good. Well, Sisters did it for me. Go on. Well, I'm glad it did. Sisters did it for me. All right, good. I'm yeah, glad it did. Sisters did it for me. Yes, yeah, sisters, sisters did that for everybody. Oh, my God. So you have to bring Sisters back. I whenever am. you get a chance, bring I am. whenever Actually, you get a chance. Actually, I'm in I'm in talks about doing something pertaining to sisters <clears throat> this year. Even in doing a film and putting it on Netflix or just bringing it back to the stage. So yeah, it's Netflix, wow. Yeah, I got I have some conversations that's with That's awesome. Yeah, right now. Yeah. That's 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 awesome. Yes. That's great. Yes, it is. What are some keys to success? Keys to success? I would say drive. Um, you whatever it is you want to do, go for it. Mm -hmm. No matter no matter the age, no matter the finances, no matter mm -hmm. if people believe in you or not, just go for it. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Pray, talk to God, ask Him to guide you, and just go for it. Head, go straight ahead because tomorrow's not promised. So what are you waiting for? Might as well get out there and live and make it happen. And make it happen. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes. And make it happen. Yes. Definitely. Well, I wish you the best, sweetie. Thank and you. And thank you so much for coming on the show. No problem. You know anything. You are my so best girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> One of my I best love you girls. So much. I love, I love you, you too, so Patrice. much, baby. I love you so much. You a hard working sister, baby. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Keep Definitely. up the good work, and I support you all the way. I know you always. I'll have. be there for you. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much, baby. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching.